should be aware that whatever we do, whichever way we grow up, whichever way we interact with our children, might have an effect on their genes. The nature of our research is uh, basically to understand how um, early life experiences can literally get under our skin to affect our health, our well-being and our behavior in many cases across the lifespan. It fits very nicely into this theme of moving from cell to society or you could argue from society to cell uh, because it really helps us to understand the interaction between those seemingly quite distant um, uh, features in our life and, and we're really excited about epigenetic um, being a key piece of helping us to understand uh, the circuitry between the society and the cell. The particular process that we focus on is called um, epigenetics. It's a field that focuses on the regulation of genes. We're trying to understand how each of the 25,000 genes in our body is uh, regulated. Our research then asks the question to what extent is this epigenetic um, biology affected by the early life environments. We are very excited about uh, several of our key findings. Last year, in collaboration with Marilyn Essex at the University of Wisconsin, as well as Tom Boyce and Clyde Hertzman here at HELP, uh, we found that you can see a trace. Basically, there was an epigenetic profile in 15-year-old kids that could be traced back to uh, whether their parents were stressed when they were either in infancy or in preschool. More recently, we have done uh, similar studies and taken this to a uh, deeper level and switched our focus to white blood cells uh, because uh, one of our hypotheses is that in part the mechanisms by which the early life environment affects our well-being is through the immune system. We can see again a trace of the early life environment, in this particular case, interestingly, the socioeconomic status on these epigenetic modifications. So basically, if you happen to grow up in poor and low socioeconomic status uh, circumstances, you have a different profile of these epigenetic marks in your white blood cells. And most excitingly, uh, it seems that this profile to some extent is correlated to the way by which these, uh, the, the immune system of these people reacts to challenges, suggesting that perhaps these epigenetic modifications can mediate uh, the um, effect of the social environment, the socioeconomic early life environment, onto the immune system lasting all the way into adulthood. Now we're having a lot of uh, many ongoing studies um, that test this in, variety, in a variety of settings, including in several cohorts of children, either here in uh, British Columbia or in California or across the world. We think that this work is actually quite important for a variety of reasons. First of all, it actually really for the first time um, provides a biochemical mechanisms, mechanism by which uh, these, the environment speaks to the genes. And to, to us, that's a really profound finding. Uh, second of all, as I mentioned earlier, we are very excited about um, the functional linkages to the immune system and, and furthermore to, to stress responses in, in people because we do feel that much of um, our health and our behavior is linked to um, proper functioning of the immune system. And, and lastly, it is really important because it, it paves the ground for much deeper and broader studies. We are very excited about the potential uh, for the future and, and really um, I should say that this work, um, in my mind, we are really at the very, very early beginnings where we are building a, a really comprehensive suite of studies that will allow us to um, assess very carefully how these epigenetic changes are actually affected by different environments, in time, sometimes overlapping, sometimes distinct environments, how they, um, it, whether there is a particular time in a children's life where the epigenome, if you wish, is more susceptible to um, influences by the environment, and ultimately, of course, what the different outcomes of these um, epigenetic changes are that are being induced by the environment. This is a, the kind of research that uh, is somewhat uh, beyond the mainstream and um, yet is obviously very important.